in this video let's understand the concept of nested components so till now we have used app component now it's time to create a new component that is student component which displays student details so let's do that Insta inside app let's create a new folder with name student so inside this folder first what i need to do i need to create a html file which contains the table for student details. Let's do that. New file student dot component dot html. Okay, so inside this html file, I need to write table with header th and inside this some rows and columns. Here, td with label and another td with value okay this is one row this will become the header header of our table next i want to display the student details for student details whatever we are considering that is i want to display data like first name and the value of this first name we are getting through interpolation concept that is by using double curly braces inside double curly braces i am specifying first name and similarly i am creating more rows that is td last name with double curly braces last name this will fetch the value from component.ts which we are going to write next okay so another row i want to display gender okay and value we are getting from interpolation that is gender okay and finally another row with td i want to display age of the student okay and insert this splash h now we have created whatever the rows and columns we want to display for the table for student details next thing what we need to do is we need to create student.component.ts which will contain the values for first name last name gender and age the values for these will be available inside student.component.ts. We are going to create properties for each one of this, each one of the fields which we want to display in the table, student details table. So let's do that next. Inside the same student folder, I'll create another file student.component.ts. Okay. So inside this file, I will write a class export class student component ok student component here whatever the properties I want to include should match with the fields which we have created so far so we have created fields like first name last name gender and age so for all these four fields I need to create properties respective properties inside student component class let us do that that is first name and this the naming con conventions which I am using here to create the property should be same as the interpolation that is the value which we are passing here see the first name it should be same as here whatever the property we are declaring inside student component class ok and this will be data type string equals some name example prints ok and next last name ok another property last name this is also string equals ok Harsha. other two properties gender and age so gender this also will be string equals male ok and finally the age property 
age will be number equals for example 28 so now we have created these four properties respectively for the fields which we have created inside html file next what we need to do is we need to decorate this class with at the rate component decorator at the rate component decorator and inside this what we need to do we need to pass selector if you want to understand what is selector what is use of this everything you can refer my previous videos in the initial videos i have explained in detail about the component okay so here selector i am giving some name for example my hyphen student okay and next what what else i need to declare i need to declare the template right which will display the html content so i'll declare template url and this url should be passed based on where we are writing the html file the path of this html file that is student.component.html the path of this should be specified inside the template url so the path of this let's write the path of this html file it starts from app okay so the path of this will be app slash student slash student dot component dot html okay so the path of this template url we are specifying from the root that is app then student then slash student dot component dot html so the html content will be rendered from this file student dot component dot html here using this file we are specifying the path for template url so whatever the properties and their values which we are declaring first name last name gender and age these values will get assigned to student dot component dot html first name last name gender and age because we because we are using the concept of interpolation here we are passing double curly braces the pro property name values first name is the property name value which we are declaring here these are the property names and these names we are passing inside double curly braces so that the value whatever we are passing values for these properties will be sent to this data that is the rows and columns which we want to display for the table okay so as far as now till now what we have done student on component html we have created for displaying the content on the web page that is the table of student details and correspondingly we have created values for this for these properties okay the fields which we want to display we have created properties for each one of them now next what i need to do if you observe here i am i am writing selector my student here and if you remember in our previous video we have discuss that whatever the selector we are passing the value should be directive inside index.html but in this case this is like a nested component right this component is a child component app.component.ts app.component.html these are the parent component which we, we had used so far and now fresh component we are using student so we need to pass this selector we need to register this by creating a directive inside app.component.ts that is how we are redirecting whatever we are writing the values in and properties inside here we are re redirecting to the root root file okay so in the next video let's discuss how we will register this component the new component which we have created that is student component how we are registering for the root component and how we will perform styling for the table which we are going to display the student details table which we want to display how we will perform the styling for this table we will see in the next video thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos